Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today we are factorizing 8a cubed plus 729. So what I see here, we have a sum of two cubes. Now a tip that I can give you is this. When dealing with a sum of two cubes, what I mean is when you have x cubed plus y cubed, you must say it is equal to x plus y close times x squared minus xy plus y squared close. Okay. So here we have 8a cubed. So basically, let's say x equals the cube root of 8a cubed, which will be 2a. And then what is y? y will be the cube root of 729. The cube root of 729 will be 9. Okay? The cube root of 729 will be 9. Now, we can now look for x squared. What is x squared? x squared is open bracket 2a close squared a. This will be 4a squared. Now, let's look for y squared. What is y? We said y was 9. So, 9 squared is 81. All right? Moving on. We then look for xy. What is xy? x was 2a, whereas y was 9. So, this is 18a. Okay? So, remember, this is the form that your factors will look like or factorization will look like. Now, coming back to factorize this, let me write it here. 8a cubed plus 729 would be, first thing first, what is x? We said x was 2a. What is y? We said y was 9. What is x squared? We said it was 4a squared minus, what is xy? It was 18a, and then what is y squared? It was 81. And this is how, this is how you factorize um, sum of cubes, right? Sum of two cubes, okay? And these are your factors. So we're going to leave them here because there is totally nothing that we can do to further factorize this, okay? So we're going to leave it here, and this is it. So it's a wrap, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.